So for me, this is the lead vocal here. This is the lead vocal here. So we're going to put this into the vocal channel, the vocal bus, I mean. This is the lead. I'm going to name this channel lead. Vox. This is the section. Uh, this is a sort of... That's really... There's lots of cool stuff in that that I like. I really like that mash up the place at the end. So maybe we can do something with that. Let's try that. I'm going to duplicate that so we don't lose anything. That's also really cool. Mash up, mash up the place. Mash up the place when it's it, not one. Place. Mash up the place. Don't need the last two. Mash up the place. Mash up the place. Is it not? Mash up the place. Is it not one? Just imagine you loop that. How would that sound? Mash up the place. Mash up the place. Mash up the place. Mash up the place. Is it? That's really cool. Mash up the place. 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 Is that? And so what I'm going to do now is I'm I want the the structure of the record, the arrangement to f to change basically loose on what the vocal does. So I want I want the vocal to be responsible for different vibes in the record. Keep that bass the same. Keep that counter melody the same. Yeah. That, that's, I think that's the secret to a great record. So one trick I like to do is, so when I'm trying to find rhythmic vocal loops, one great trick that I learned when I was making the shake uh, is to essentially, what you do is you take a long vocal, you and then you make it half a bar long, so two beats, and then you just select different two beat sections of the vocal until you find one that just locks into the groove. So I'm going to do that with this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this here. I'm going to loop around that. So that's just looping around here. I'll, uh, I'll mute that. Uh, and now what I can do is I can press shift command and I can drag this around within this section and I'll be able to listen to different parts of the vocal uh, repeating. So let's have a listen to that. That's really cool. So I'm going to put that off to the side, mute it, and let's keep going. I really like that as well. That's great. Um, get rid of that first syllable there. Let's keep going. That's also really nice. That's really nice there. Keep going. We've already got that here as this pre-drop vocal. So these are all really cool ideas here. Let's uh, let's have a listen to some of these uh, when we loop them around around this full section. Bring in that counter stab again. That's a really cool idea. Let's try uh, with this one. Uh, unmute that. Treat 
That's really cool as well. Let's try this one. Nice. Not my favorite. Let's try this. That one's really good. Really cool. <laughs> I really like that. So we just mute the first two syllables here. And that ties in with our pre drop vocal here as well. Okay, so maybe maybe what we could do is actually have this be the pre-drop vocal here. So I mean, but this is part of a, a, a larger vocal here. That's really cool. So pre-drop. So th this section here and all of these, uh, so this is like the, the main drop kind of groove section. And then what we want is a part where the track kind of switches up and maybe uh, we could have this vocal here. So we, we can take this little kick out here and see how that sounds going from this into this. Yeah, that's really, really, really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. 